Good evening. Glad you're with us here for WVLT News at 6 o'clock, folks. I'm Ted Hall. Casey's off with family tonight. It is an ongoing problem in schools around East Tennessee. There's a teacher shortage and staff. Just last month, Knox County Schools needed to fill more than 250 teaching positions, teachers and assistants and tutors. That's while the school, the school's uh, semester had already begun. Now they've been working to fill these spots. They say around the clock and they've added almost 200 already. Here's our Ellie Bird. So as of this morning, we have fewer than 80 teaching vacancies across the district. Um, more than half of our schools have no teaching vacancies. And when we think about the schools that are really trying to figure out how to, to close out that last round of staffing for the school year, only about 26 schools have one teaching vacancy in them. Alex Moseman is the executive director of talent acquisitions for Knox County Schools. This number has gone down compared to earlier this month when they needed more than 250 teaching positions filled. Thinking about the ways that we need to be um, aggressive and investing in staff and making sure that folks feel seen, heard and valued. And so trying to think about what are those specific investments that KCS needs to do to make sure that we're attracting folks into not just the teaching profession, but working with all of our students. What do they need most? Math teachers, special education teachers, bus drivers, and more. They are offering signing bonuses for specialty teachers. For math, it's $5,000, and special ed, it's $7,000. Even trying to recruit people as early as high school or college. If right now, I think we're thinking about what are the steps that that person might take, and then does KCS have the right steps and partners to sort of walk them hand in hand down that pathway to make sure that they have a smooth transition into a role in Knox County Schools. 26 schools in the district have only one teacher vacancy. Mosman tells me the open positions don't affect students' learning. In Knoxville, I'm Ellie Bird, WVLT News. Knox County's ratio, they have one teacher for every 14 students.